determinant of a three by three matrix. So this is a bit more work, okay? So I'm gonna go across the top here. We're gonna take row one, okay? And the pattern is plus minus plus. So we're gonna start with the number four. Um, once I start with the first number in row one, what I'm gonna do is, let me change the color real fast. I'll do colors so you guys can see the difference. Okay, so um, row one, so I'm gonna start with, so dealing with row one, start with the first element in row one, so number four, right? When I'm dealing with number four, okay, what I do is I take number four, and whatever row and column that that first element is in, I'm just going to kind of cross it out. And whatever is left, I'm going to take the determinant of that matrix. So what I do again is I'm going across the top, row one, and I'm taking the first element in row one. And when I take that element, everything in its row and its column cancels, it goes away, and whatever's left is the matrix that I'm going to determine um, its determinant for, okay? So this is the first step. This is called a cofactor matrix. Um, I'll talk about that again uh, later, but next, um, I'm going across row one. So I'm gonna take the next element in row one. And when I take this element now, this row and this column cancel. So what's left? Three, two. So let me say uh, minus zero, three, two, four, five. Take the determinant of that. Now. Remember I said the pattern is plus minus plus. So I'm taking plus this element times the determinant of the leftover matrix minus the second element times the determinant of its leftover matrix plus the third element times the product or uh, times the determinant of its leftover matrix which is 3 2 negative one, negative three, and then simplify. So once I do all these operations, then I'll get the determinant of this full three by three matrix. So again, I go across row one, first element times its corresponding determinant, leftover matrix, if you want to call it that, minus the second element times its leftover determinant matrix, um, plus the third element, times its corresponding leftover matrix, and then we simplify. Now obviously zero times anything is zero, so those two go. So it's really just simply this. Four times the determinant of this two by two, which again, we go diagonally, this product minus this product, negative five minus negative 12. So four times negative five plus 12, four times seven, um, which is 28. So 28 is the determinant of this three by three matrix. Um, let me do one more. Let's do negative 2, negative 4, negative 1, 7. Let me try to keep it small numbers. 1, 3, negative 1, 0, 4, 2. Right? I have this 3 by 3 matrix, and I have these di um, straight lines indicating find its determinant. So I'm going to go again across the top. <clears throat> um, I'm not going to show the colors this time. I'm going across the top, and again, it's plus, minus, plus. That's the, um, the pattern of the signs that go in front of the element. So plus the first element here, negative 2 times its leftover determinant matrix. So cross out this row and this column, and I'm left with 3, 4, negative 1, 2. Minus the next element, let me scoot this over a little bit. Minus the next element, which is negative four across the top row, times its leftover matrix. So crossing out its column and its row, I'm left with one zero, negative one two. Plus the next element in row one, which is negative one, times its leftover corresponding determinant matrix. Crossing out its column and its row, I'm left with one, zero, three, four. 
And once I find all this, then I have my final determinant of this three by three matrix. So negative two times this determinant, um, product of this diagonal minus product of this, six minus negative four plus four times its determinant, two minus zero plus or minus one, because plus minus one, times its determinant, four minus zero. And then this is negative two times 10 plus four times two minus one times four, so negative 20. Let me switch this down. Okay, negative 20 plus eight minus four, so negative 24, or negative 20 plus this is four, so negative 16 is my determinant of this three by three matrix.